Hey everyone, and welcome to yet another video on the Brugley channel. Today I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 40, aka Roller Rockin' Pizza. Interesting. If that sounds cool, then stick around for the explanation, and thank you for watching. Let's get into the video. But first, make sure you check out my second channel, because if you like me and you want more of me, well there's more of me over there. So now, let's get into the video. Backrooms Level 40 is yet another level that looks like an arcade, except this time, stuff gets really weird, I'm not gonna lie. The actual level has the typical arcade look from the mid-80s, but the games themselves are what make the level crazy. There's also vending machines around, and food vendors, and areas like that that give out food and drinks, and the food and drinks are not almond water, people. I repeat, there is no almond water on this level. There's never been any seen. That's gotta be a first for any level in the backrooms, because what is, what is the backrooms without almond water? Normally the food's safe to eat, but a lot of it is covered in a really weird green glowing liquid called Star Fowler's Universal Sauce. Uh, yeah, I'll get into that in a second. Apparently the sauce can taste like any food ever, but there are some people who have consumed it that have ended up losing their minds and going crazy and thinking they're in some kind of group. Uh, I'll get into that later. So, eat with caution. Around the level, there are tons of TV stations that play commercials for random objects. Now, these objects are really, really weird and they don't really make much sense, but I'm gonna read some of the commercials now. The first one says, A new galactic size of adventure and a system-wide selection of tastes. Introducing General Stare Flare's Universal Sauce. A whole new world of flavor. The perfect addition for every Space Cadet's adventures to the stars. Only at Roller Rockin' Pizza, called 40 40 40 40, you know, says it over and over again, to get a chance at winning one of the five prizes. Including the one-time General Star Flare's figurine ready for action. Sign up now at... And that's when the commercial cuts off to a black screen. Interesting. And there's more that have a similar style to that, like this one that says, Tickets are open to see Mickey playing at Molly's Comedy Club and Bar. Feel free to hang around as long as you'd like. We have a lot of cool stuff planned for you. Just look for the sign and you'll find us. See you at the party. So yeah, none of that really makes any sense. And what makes even less sense is why commercials are playing on a level where there aren't many people. Like... Who's the target audience? What are the commercials trying to reach? I don't know. The arcade games themselves actually work here, and the games can range from Rampage to Space Invaders, just a whole wide swath. And there's also some games that aren't even from the real world, and they don't have a name, and they have some really strange properties. It's almost like they got created just for this level. There's one called Yoinkers 2. It's a game where you throw the opponent in a river using a ball, but if you throw the ball hard enough in game, it would literally crack the screen of the arcade machine you're using, so somehow it connects to real life from the game? And that happens a lot with these games that are specific to this level. They have a lot of anomalous properties. There's a game called Topple Top that has a character in the game that recognizes if you've played this game before and they'll talk to you. And there's a racing game called The Grand Finale that after 12 rounds, it cuts to a blank screen and it says, why? I mean, it's probably best to just avoid these games. I don't know if they're like sentient, but it's creepy. Why would a game have near human intelligence, you know? Some of these games are being played by a weird entity called the customers, which is kind of like a force or an energy, and not necessarily a physical thing, but people who have tried to contact this force have ended up sick and woozy, so. Past this arcade area is a small bowling alley place with the same decorations as where you just were. And the food here has the exact same sauce as before and everything seems to work just like a normal bowling alley. Even further past this alley, there's another place that looks like a bathroom or break room area. It's kind of run down, but it's really creepy and liminal space looking. The further you go into the level is where you find the exit. It's a weird looking exit hallway with a revolving door at the end, and that's how you leave the level. There are actually a couple of groups here that have set up shop. Like there's a BNTG group, and then there's a group called the Scrambler Outpost. And the Scrambler Outpost, they're extremely hostile, and they raid other people's camps and try to steal their stuff, so. And then, there's the group of crazy people who ate the green sauce and just went off the deep end. Their group is called General Starflare Space Cadets, and they're crazy, so. 
To enter this level, you can find an arcade machine in level 5 and play it to be sent here, or use one of the other entrances listed. There's a ton. To exit, you can go through that revolving door at the end of the hallway that I was talking about just now to be sent to level 9, 10, or 11. Or you can use one of the other 11 exits listed. Cool. So yeah, that was the Backrooms level 40. It's probably my favorite arcade level out there, to be honest. Hope you enjoyed it. There's only 10 more levels to go until I have officially covered all of the levels from 13 to 50. I, I, I literally can't believe how crazy it's been. Hopefully you've enjoyed it all. Of course, there's going to be other uploads as well after the 50 you're done. No worries for that. Tons more content coming. I hope you're hype. It's going to be awesome. The summer's just getting started for real, and I, I thank you all so much for everything. I got a ton of stuff planned, and I hope you're ready for it. Thank you for watching, supporting me, and for being amazing, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.